So basically for this mod, uh, we only require a few tools. Uh, of course, the soldering iron, uh, IE7, uh, MMCX female connectors, uh, enamel coated wires, uh, tweezers, scissors, and a pen knife. Okay. So the very first step uh, is to really actually just to cut the wires, and that's all for the scissors. Grab some blue tacks uh, to fix the, the IEM. Okay. Let's identify where to open up this IEM. You can see there is a part lying somewhere around here. You can see it very clearly there's a part lying here and uh So this is where we'll be going to open up the IEM. We we'll place them on the blue tag. So you can see the part line. Pin blade. As you can see, uh, the IE7 is actually using the same uh, driver as the IE8, AT. Do the same for the other side. We'll be going to mount the MMCS connector at the, this part. Uh, this is uh, external resin that we're going to remove, so it's going to be a flush uh, connection. Let's cut the... Okay. Be careful not to tear the wires uh, because they are actually uh, being held together. So we pull them out from the back using a pair of tweezers. Ideally, it will go into here, but because uh, the hole is too small, we have to file it out. So we use a dremel here. We'll do the same for the other side. Okay, so now let's prepare the MMCX connectors. Okay, we'll be doing adding the wires. Uh, it's always the same process. Uh, we will thin the we'll thin the connectors. And then we'll solder the ground first. Signal. 
Okay, so now we are going to install the MMC Xpin onto the driver itself. Okay, so first we have to put it through the hole. And you can see the driver is marked for the red is the positive. So we just solder it now. Take note that uh, do not let the iron touch the padding, the solder pads for more than uh, one second at a time. So the next step, uh, we have to glue down the MMCX connector. Uh, you can just use a super glue, uh, dab some super glue into the cavity, uh, and that's sufficient. But uh, because this is a permanent knot for us, uh, we are going to add some more extra epoxy inside to strengthen it. So this is two part epoxy, we are remixing them. We are done mixing, so we will have it uh, one for each side. Okay. So let's roll it into a long length, a long length, and wrap around the connector. Push them all the way in. And we remove the excess uh, with a pen knife. So the excess uh, will pack it down uh, underneath using the tweezer the same for the other side Okay, so I made a mistake. The wire has to go through both this hole and uh, this hole. So let's do it. Okay, so the back plate uh, is uh, installed by clipping it on. So uh, we just clip it on. Uh, go by the back and for this uh, there is a notch to align we use super glue just, uh, just one depth so the best way to do it uh, pour some super glue on the surface and use a thin needle or a toothpick, toothpick to apply just a small tap hey guys thanks for watching so today is uh, 20th October, we will be announcing the winner for the contest on 1010. <laughs> Actually there is uh, only one winner, uh, I believe nobody managed to count or even I didn't manage to count the <laughs> whole video. It was a mistake, I, I, I shouldn't do a 22 minutes video. Uh, we will be coming up with more of such a contest in the future, so do stay tuned and please like and subscribe our video. Thank you.